What's up guys, it's Coach Grant with First Down Training. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to run an outside breaking route versus an outside leverage DB, okay? So this is something that we get asked a lot here and we're gonna be talking about just the main things that'll set this up, how we can threaten the DB and how we can get him to jump on this specific route, okay? But also, fellas, if you're a receiver and maybe you struggle with catching the ball, right? You have too many drops, maybe you feel like you don't have the best hand-eye coordination, check out that very first link in the description, fellas. It's 30 days of catching and grip strengthening exercises for wide receivers, no quarterback necessary. So it's all the exercises you guys can be doing on a daily basis structured into a specific plan with sets and reps to improve your hands. So check out that very first link in the description, fellas. No quarterback needed. If you have a quarterback, there's also a separate program built in for that. Let's get started. So you see when we have this outside breaking route against outside shade, why do you think that he's outside shade, right? And some of you guys probably already know the answer to this question. He's outside shade because he's got safety help to the inside. That's the situation that we're working on, right? So this is like maybe a two-man coverage look, right, where we got maybe two high safeties. is man across the board. You see that a lot in seven on seven. That's a perfect coverage to run the dang ball against, right? That's that's really not that complicated because they're only going to be bringing a couple guys to run the ball or have your, run, your running back one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker. However, let's say we have a passing play. Let's say maybe it's a third down situation where I got to throw the ball. This is something we got to be able to know. So again, he's got safety up to the inside. So he's trying to force me to the inside. He does not want me to get to the outside. So if I were to just go here and I were to just attack his leverage, right? That's the simple answer that everybody loves to say. He's outside shade. Okay, I'm just going to attack his leverage, then break to the out. What he's going to do is going to keep his leverage. He's going to weave to the inside. He's going to bail out here. Then you're going to run your route and you're going to be running right into him. So he does his job. He wants to keep everything to the inside. If you try to run to the outside, that's right in his zone. So that's how he wants to play you. So what we got to do is we got to threaten him to where he's not. There's a lot of grass over here, right? So you could, he's not just going to let you run off and just sit right in this window, unless it's a zone coverage situation, but this is off man, right? It's one-on-one. -on -one, so we know that it's man coverage. We know what to look for when it's off man. DB's looking at this DB's hips. His eyes are on you he's not looking at the quarterback, right? This maybe could be a situation where you got like a too high safety look and he's walked down and it's a too high safety look, he's essentially man coverage with you at a certain point, right? So again, this is that same kind of scenario. He's trying to force you to the inside, but he does not want to chase you and he's not going to let you go there for free. So I got to make sure that I sell that. I got to make sure I threaten him. So where does he push an attack on this? His receiver, Zach Wilson out of USC, attacking that inside shoulder, right? Attacking that inside shoulder, hopefully it'll get him to turn his hips and try to run because if I sell this thing correctly, that's what's going to get him to go off this platform. So I'm attacking that inside shoulder, trying to get him to turn his hips, and I hit him with that rocker step, right? And you see how much we got to sell with my upper half to get this DB to jump, right? That DB was patient up until the last second. He kept his leverage, kept his leverage, kept his leverage until we made it look like a post. That's what we're trying to do here with this rocker step. It's like I'm going here, attacking that outside shoulder, one, two. I'm trying to sell like I'm breaking off a of one step, running a post, and you see how his shoulders and hips are fully committed to this break, but it's like his legs and his hip, I shouldn't say hips, but like he's throwing his hip, I should say more so his shoulder and his upper half are actually turned to the outside, but his toes stay in forward. So when he makes that break, he could still drive this way. This is like the textbook, like top of the route when you guys are throwing a head fake off a rocker step of where you want to be. You want to have your upper half to the outside, lower half, your toes stay forward, weights on the inside. So when we get him to jump, I don't lose anything right here because what's he going to be doing? He's going to be speed turning. So I got to win that race back to that ball. I got to drive off of that cut leg and really pump my arms and accelerate back to that thing. That's a per that's a textbook example of what to do outside shade when you have an outside breaking route, especially like a 10 yard out. So watch the thing again, full speed one more time. Great job attacking that inside shoulder of him and working that rocker step at the top of the break, selling with my upper half and getting this DB to jump. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And again, fellas, need to improve your hands. Don't have a quarterback to throw to you 24 seven. Check out that very first link in the description for specific exercises and drills put together in a specific plan with sets, reps, rest days, all the above to improve your hands. Very first link in the description. I'll see you guys next time.